bones burnt make it quick. Uh, I'm like your one friend, Aiden. You should be nicer to me. Great. I'm hanging up now. It's a job, jackass. Fix your gig. I can't take it. Travel restrictions. <sighs> I told you I'm not doing that hired gun work anymore. Oh, come on. It's corporate espionage. Scumbags screwing scumbags. No bystanders. Huge payday. Mm-hmm. What's the catch? It's in... London. Which is not the easiest place to get to these days. London. It's where Jackson lives. Yeah. Why do you think I called you, asshole? Okay, I gotta go. help you blend in. <laughs> Everyone here must wear one now. <laughs> uh, your car fell through. The London bombings, uh, they change everything. Many things are hard to get now. That won't be a problem. Oui. Good, but it is also your flat. You have somewhere else you can go, family? It's complicated. <laughs> Uh, it is okay. Still family, no? You will see. Yeah. I will see. Thank you for accepting Fixer Contract 11384242. Investigate merger between Robotech Corporation and Rampart Automated Defense Systems SA. Hereafter, Rampart SA. Context Rampart SA is a French private security firm specializing in robotic forces. Last April, they made overtures to acquire London's Robotech, which specializes in advanced AI systems. But negotiations have stalled. Thomas Rempart, CEO of Rempart SA, sabotaged the deal after Brokatech spun off its Deep Labs division into a new corporate entity. But even without the Deep Labs, shareholders of both companies stand to make millions. So why is Thomas Rempart doing this? Objective. Rempart's delay is illegal under French law. Infiltrate the Deep Labs and discover what Thomas Rempart is willing to risk lawsuits over. Recover documentation and physical samples to support. ROE, discretion recommended. Get in, get the evidence, get out. Pretty tame as fixer contracts go. Nobody's home. Why would they leave the lab unguarded? is mostly interested in a piece of technology being developed by our Deep Labs division. Something called the Broker Bridge. The whole acquisition is just a ploy to get it. So Rampart's after something called the Broker Bridge. The whole acquisition attempt was just his way to get in. I should 
keep going. That door might be unlocked now. Rampart's Mark II robots don't work without this broker bridge, and he's already sold a million units. So, he needs the gadget or he's screwed. If I can get my hands on a prototype, then I'm done here. Locked. Should see if there's a closed circuit box around here. If I hack it or take it out, it should let me through. Thomas Rampart never had an original idea in his life. He even stole his billion dollar robot design from some basement inventor. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! This is going south fast. Need to get evidence and get out. from security. I've sent you my full report, but here's the gist. Rempart has been quietly acquiring Brokertech stock for nearly six months, so it's safe to say he's after us. Fortunately, our surveillance team found out that Rempart is mostly interested. Smart. Brokertech's corporate spies cloned Rempart's webcam feed. That's the most recent recording.
Yes, thank you. I understand. You're saying that Brokatech will agree to a merger as long as I step down as CEO. That's right, but right now... Well, the terms. Need... Are they favorable? Enough, the board has to listen. Look, Thomas... So I'm fucked. <sighs> if I don't step down, I don't get the broker bridge and I'm jailed for fraud. And if I do, they, they probably throw me under the bus anyways. And then all this Thomas, is a waste of time. Stop talking. Thomas, I've been trying to tell you. We believe our networks have been penetrated. They're probably watching right now. Shit! So that's Thomas Rempart. Man-child with a private army. Dangerous combination. Broker Bridge Chamber, unsealed. Please Shit. ensure your identification is visible at all times. Okay. So this other intruder can either cause remote equipment malfunctions, or they're invisible. Broker Bridge Chamber. Sounds like that's where I need to go. This must be where they make this broker bridge. Might as well get some photos of this, too. That'll do it. Now I just gotta grab this thing and get out of here. Then I guess I ought to look up Jax. Easy, easy, I... Hey, I know you. Give me that. This, uh... No, no, no. Three. I need it for a thing. Two. Okay, I guess we're doing this. <sighs> what the hell? Man, you are spry for an old guy. Just drop the device and you can go. No, I told you I need it. This isn't personal, just stop! Speak for yourself! You stop! Not gonna happen! Why do you want this thing so bad? It's just a job! A job? Just slack off for a day like a normal person! You're starting to get on my nerves! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot! Nice try, pal, but you're out of runway. Open the door. Uh, no thanks. You're from that dead set group in San Francisco, aren't you? You mean the one that busted you out of a cage, guarded by 20 Eastern European gangsters? I seem to remember that was mostly your friend. But now you're alone. This isn't a dead sec op, is it? Yeah, well, I grew out of dead sec ops a long time ago. Suspect in custody. My people dug this out of your chest. If it was one inch in any other direction, we wouldn't be talking. I read the files you downloaded from Brokatech. The ones about me. 
They're all technically true, yeah, but... I feel like they didn't quite give you the full story. This is the Mark I. Simple AI, good for simple things. Uh, the Mark II will be controlled by the thoughts of a human pilot. Military, police, it'll all be transformed overnight. But one day, these will permanently hold the human mind. No more death. No more limitations. We'll be able to live on Mars like it was Maui. And for all this, all I need is that little device stolen by your partner. The one in the stupid mask? I don't know that guy. <laughs> Silence was a better strategy than lying there, Mr. Pierce. Are you done? Look, I don't know that guy. But I can find him. I'm good at that. You just have to let me go. I just don't think I can trust you without some kind of insurance. Perhaps your nephew, Jackson? Hmm? He lives in London, doesn't he? I offered you a good deal. Take it. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I want to believe you. I really do. <laughs> but I just can't. Not yet. I'll return once my little helper here has made you a bit more trustworthy. help you find him. <sighs> You're obviously new at this. You still think torture works. not equipped to fight them. Designed for recon and material recovery. Might come in handy. Oh, thank the fake baby Jesus, it worked. So, uh, you didn't mean all that about hunting me down and stuff, right? Very cool. 
Not even close. You almost killed me. It was a stun bomb. How does one teeny little stun bomb almost kill Aiden fucking Pierce? Piece of that little stun bomb wound up lodged in my chest. Oh, yeah, no, that's not what that's supposed to do. Uh, look, I gotta go, but try to remember that I was the one who saved you from the torture bot, okay? That's worth something, right? Wait, where are you? <laughs> nice try. Gotta be a way that doesn't involve climbing. Hello, Executive's office. Hi, this is Francine Vance with the GBB. I was hoping to speak with Mr. Rem... Part, please. What is this concerning? Is Mr. Rempart in? I ask again, what is this concerning? I was hoping to get a comment on a story about certain meetings between Mr. Rempart and the Prime Minister of the PM Summer Residence. I will direct your message to Mr. Rempart. Thank you. Uh, did Mr. Rempart and the Prime Power Minister make any arrangements prior to the construction of the latest RADS facility? Thank you. Goodbye. find the terminal and unlock it. Kiss your tech goodbye. Let's get to work.
I don't like this. Are we recording? Right, continuing the deposition of Mr. Thomas Rampart in the case of Russian Central Bank versus Rampart Automated Defense Systems. I presume you are ready to continue, Mr. Rampart. Actually, and I want this on the record, I just got off the phone with your colleagues in Moscow and we have reached an understanding. This deposition is no longer necessary. I... You should have told me before we resumed. And no one has contacted me. They will, I can assure you. Come with me, Mr. Rampart. All right. How does this thing work? Uh, Bagley? Call Jackson Pierce. No public listing for Jackson Pierce can be found on the Bloom Network. Pull it from my encrypted files. Voice, print, ID, Lena, and drop the pin at his address. Done. Calling him now. I'm sorry, the Bloom Mobile customer you've tried to reach is unavailable, and their voicemail box is full. Please try again later. Looks like I'm doing this in person. Disappointed, I gotta say. I thought I could trust you, but... You can't trace this device. I made sure of that. Yes, I'm aware. I'm much more concerned with finding the broker bridge. Where is the wrench? Like I said, I don't know. But I'll find him. You'll get your gadget. <sighs> Even if you did tell me, I couldn't believe you now. Looks like I'll have to pick up your nephew, Jackson. We can swap. You won't find him. He's smart. Smarter than me. <laughs> uh, I've crushed way, way smarter people than you, bud. Look inside. Maybe I can find out where he is. Warn him. Yeah, no, no. Yep. No. No. All right, let's go. That's not good. Jackson's flat. That looks like a miniature tech lab and gym equipment. Hmm. Here's family stables, I guess. Fine for protesting. I wish he'd keep his head down, but I get it. Jackson, it's Dr. Ellis. 
my conference was cancelled, so I'll be here this week after all. And I just wanted to say again how happy I am with the progress we're making. And trauma moves our boundaries in ways that can make close relationships challenging. But the fact that you're making so many new friends really shows it how far you've come. Anyway, uh, call me back if you want to book some time. Cheers. Isn't therapy? Well, I guess that helps some people. I can get in through the window. Need to find out where he went. Jax, don't move. Look, I don't know who you think I am, but you better get out right now. <sighs> Holy shit. Uncle Aiden. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I have not seen you in what? 15 years? And then you want break into my place? This is not what I'm doing, Jax. I'm sorry. But you're in danger. No, not this time. I mean, you gotta send a an email or, or, or a text, something. That is how you do this. Jax, I can't. I'm sorry, but I... <sighs> Hmm. Hey. You've been out for 12 hours, Aiden. I don't think they're coming. Jax, you have to trust me. There are people looking for you. They are serious. I'll be fine. Trust me, after everything with, uh, you? Well, I made sure we knew how to handle ourselves. Okay. Hey, can you leave a channel open at least? Anything happens, I'll be here in three minutes. Yeah. Yeah, fine, I'll leave a channel open. But you gotta go. That box is for you. Mom brought it over the last time, and, uh... I don't know why. But it's your shit. Jax.
Testing. Channel open. Like I said. Copy. Thanks, Jax. Jackson is good, actually. Sure, yeah. Got it. And Aiden, if you need help with whatever's going on, there's this pub by Parliament. The owner knows your kind of people. Knows how to get stuff that's hard to get. I can tell her you're coming if you want. How do you know this person? From protests. I help out as a street medic. Connie's kind of a friend of some friends. You realize this protest stuff is a good way to get yourself killed, right? The good guy's already lost. Yeah, well, some fights are worth losing. Look, I gotta go. Any sign of the target? Anyone? Aiden Pierce, heard you know how to get things. Yeah, sure. Jackson called ahead. When he told me that Aiden Pierce was coming to see me, I just thought he was being funny, but uh, here you are. So, is uh, the fox looking for something specific? The fox? Something exotic. This. Well, I'm stumped. What is it? A piece of shrapnel almost killed me. I think it's part of a smartphone activated explosive fuse. You know where I could get something like that? Yeah, I could uh, ask around, but. Uh, hmm. Off the top of my head, I've got an acquaintance who uh, helps me import certain uh, exotic goods. I'd start with her. Smuggler. If anyone knows where to get bomb parts. Dead on. I'll push a location to your optic, but, um, Aiden, this one's a favor for Jackson. In future. You'll have to earn your own favors. Understood. How? There could be so many people in the street. How could the government let it get this bad and why? intervention technique.
You know Connie Robinson? Oh! You're her American pet. Supposed to be some kind of famous old tough guy, yeah? Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm looking for a place where someone can get bomb making supplies in bulk. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, I just, um... I can't think of it, like, right now. See, I'm just, um... I'm in this situation with Albion that's got me, like, so stressed out. But, um, if you could help me out of it, I'm sure that my mind will clear, like, right up. Fair enough. What are the details? Few and familiar, you know. Didn't grease the right palms and now my latest shipment's stuck in the local fascist clubhouse. Got it. Keep a line open. This won't take long. Ooh. Love the bravado. Very American. <laughs> Hey, good luck. Jackson. Look, I don't know if you're listening on this channel right now, but in case you are, I just wanted to say... The only reason I took the job that started all this is because it paid well enough so that I could set up you and your mom forever. Well, anyway. Are you serious, Aiden? I'm a PhD student at one of the best STEM schools in the world. Mom's doing great. We don't need the money. I don't always need a gun, either. But when I do, I'm glad I have one. Listen to yourself. You took the job because you love getting into gunfights with assholes and talking like that. That's not true. Yeah? What are you doing right now? Getting distracted. I should go. Yeah. Me too. close right you're looking for a few little boxes little not a big box of guns you know what they say a little depleted uranium goes a long way depleted what yeah on that note you might want to use a delivery drone or something to move them you know just in case it's not quite as depleted as advertised i actually picked up a gadget earlier that might do the trick suit yourself i parked a van nearby with a lead-lined interior You'll probably want to use that to move them.
Here we go. by the GBB. This area is being recorded by the GBB. Watch the perimeter. going. Control, I could use some
some assistance. Got your stuff, but I think someone noticed it's gone. My pursuit alert's lighting up. I'm sure you can handle it. Hey, here's a drop point. Take it there once you lose them. Location confirmed. On my way. Come on, man. You're running for mercenaries in a van full of five-figure-per-unit anti-tank rounds, and you aren't having any fun. Let's keep this channel clear for updates. I need to focus. Sighted of suspects. Over. Disengage. 
damage. Suspect has disappeared. Your shipment's at the drop point. Now, I think you were gonna tell me where I could find someone who sells bomb-making supplies. Yeah, yeah, right. I'll just drop you another pin. Easiest way. All right, thanks. Oh, and uh, I left you a little thank you present with Connie. More where that came from if you're willing to work. I'll keep that in mind. All right, Aiden. Me mate left you something. Here, if you're looking to gear up, guns, money, disguises, whatever, me and me spars would be willing to trade for favors. Noted. Connie tells me you picked up my care package. Here's the location for that uh, shopping centre you were looking for. Appreciate it. you're getting pretty close to some gangster turf. Am I going to see this on the news later? I'm just after some documents. Not that I care. But what kind of documents? I'm looking for someone who bought a lot of bomb-making supplies recently. And even black marketeers have to keep legitimate books for laundering and insurance. So if I can get those books and eliminate the clients against a few international most wanted lists, I can narrow it down. And you're looking for a bomb maker? To stop him? That's right. Okay, good. Just be careful, I guess.
you go. Just selling drugs, whatever. They care more about what they do with that money. This one wasn't selling bomb supplies. Strike units, you are cleared to begin. Lethal force authorized. Operation Silk Road is green. Repeat, the operation is green. Shit, Ambien's closing in. Gotta get that data now or they'll bag it up. Take the 
this person was selling contraband optics. That's a bomb maker's client list if I've ever seen one. Hang on. Looks like a massive shipment is about to go out to Rempart Automation. Might be nothing. Then again, it might be on a wrench. Can't risk losing my advantage here. Gotta take out that vehicle. Sounds like someone else I know. Hey, look. This feels weird. Can we talk? Like in person? Of course. I'll be there right away. Imperial College of London Engineering Department PhD candidate. LMPT Mixed Martial Arts Gym Membership. Monthly order of one box Buff Max Protein Bar. Hmm. Yet if you actually found Jackson, you would have just said so. No. I would have showed you so you would believe me. Is that what it's gonna take for you to turn in your accomplice? I told you I don't know him, but I can find him. But honestly, right now I'm thinking about coming to see you instead. <laughs> oh, stupid idea. You said it yourself. I am very rich, and my family is richer. Even if you kill me, you would ruin your nephew's life. You're already responsible for the death of his sister. Could you really hurt him like that again? You'll get your gadget. I'm hanging up now. Okay, I've had a minute to think, and I'm gonna help you. No, Jackson, I can't let you get involved. I didn't ask for you to come. And all my life's on hold until you're gone, so why don't you just bring me up to speed? You're right. So, there's this rich scumbag called Thomas Rampart. He needs something called the Broker Bridge, or he's gonna go to jail for a scam he's running on the government. Rampart. Robotics guy, right? Does private security? That's right. <laughs> and let me guess. He hired you to grab this broker thing and then he turned out to be an asshole. Pretty close. The broker bridge was stolen by this old dead set clown. Goes by Wrench. And Rampart probably thought you two were working together. 
And then he threatened me if he didn't turn over this wrench guy over to him? Exactly. And frankly, I'd love to. But I have no idea where he is. So that's why you were looking into bomb supplies. You know, I do know my way around London pretty well at this point. I might be able to turn up a lead or two. All right. Just don't put yourself in any danger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackson? I'll be fine. Remember. Hey, I meant to say, this might take me a while. So you might want to find something else to do in the meantime. Right. I think your resistance friends might have some work for me. Good thinking. They should be able to help you get outfitted too. If any of this goes sideways, you're gonna to want to make sure your equipment's up to snuff. Looking for me? You must be Claire. Connie said you could use some help with a story. What are you, a journalist? Journalist, podcaster, take your pick. I've got a nose for bullshit. Speaking of, I'm looking into a deal between Rempart and Karkani. Tell me you're operating off of more than just your nose on this. I operate on facts. And fact is, this deal involves something Rempart calls their premium protection plan. They don't publicly list this service, so I want to know what it is. All right. Got any ideas on where to start? Of course. One of Rempart's reps will be visiting Karkani today to finalize the deal. All you have to do is download their files. Fine. I'm on it. I'm here. Anything I should know about this place? Karkani's in a pissing match with the NHS over a city contract, so security's tighter than usual. Shouldn't be a problem for the great Aiden Pierce, though. So you do know who I am? Of course I do. Big fan of the way you exposed the Chicago mayor, by the way. You could say it was, uh, inspirational. It made standing up to corruption seem, I don't know, 
possible. Inspirational, huh? You need a better role model. <laughs> Heard that one before. Why don't you just focus on finding that rep? We can worry about role models later. Recognition software. Found them. Great. Get hacking. I want those files. So, Claire, why are Carcani and the NHS at odds? They're fighting for control over the EPC. The NHS plans to have better and cheaper care, while Carcani plans to make money off of deportees. Don't watch the news much, do you, Pierce? Keeping up on healthcare politics isn't at the top of my to-do list. No suspicious activity detected. Let's shut things down. All right, let's go. targeted hits on client competitors. Dr. Layla Ibrahim is listed as the primary target. Any chance you know who she is? Sounds familiar. Let me look her up. For now, get out of there before someone catches you snooping around. Cease and desist, or you will be restrained. that Dr. Ibrahim has been all over the news you don't watch. She leads the NHS response team that's taking on Karkani for the city contract. Which means Karkani hired Rempire to take out the competition. You're going to warn them, aren't you? There's a meeting about the contract today. I bet you could catch them there. Send me the location. I'll see what I can do.
I'm calling off the pursuit. sign of the response team though according to the news the meeting hasn't started yet have a look around see if you can find them damn think i found them i'm too late claire rampart's people were already here dr ibrahim is dead shit what about the rest of the team not sure have a look around So back off! I'm Dr. Ibrahim. My team and I have been approached by Clan Ken- Wait! Hey! Let go of me! Help! Leave on a man. She won't make it. Get the rest loaded up and take them back to the market. Sneaky bastards. Rempart hired the Kellys to do their dirty work. We have to help those hostages. We can't just leave them. I wasn't planning on it. Any idea where this market might be? Only one place it could be. Leather Lane. The Kellys always hang out around there, doing and selling God knows what. All right, drop me a pin for their location, and I'll check it out. Too late. Found the hostages. How do they look? A lot. For now, better do this quick. Yeah, 
no one here, but I'll keep looking. This area is being recorded by the GBB. Spread out. Find Show that one. down and run you'll have to run for it don't look back Done. They say you should never meet your heroes, but you really came through on this one. I'll make sure Connie knows. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a story to write, companies to tank. You know, for a journalist, you're not so bad. Do me a favor and keep me in the loop. It's always good to have one ear to the ground. Yeah, sure. I mean, for a crotchety old man, you're not so bad either. See you around, Pierce. So, it's been all over the news, and I'm sure we're all sick of hearing about it. But in case you haven't heard, Karkani's officially the primary medical provider for the EPC. Score one for private healthcare. Not that there's anything healthy or caring about their plan to make money off refugees. So how did this happen? And what does this mean for the future of the NHS? <laughs> so 
So you're the one they call the Fox. Your reputation precedes you. And you must be Angel. Should I be flattered or concerned? Depends on how you handle a little favor for me. I need you to track down a friend of mine, Sonia Mayfield. Amateur boxing champ. Now runs a local gym. She went missing a few days ago. So long as your favor doesn't mean free. Any idea what could have happened to her? Does she have any enemies? I'd like to know. Sonia was a pillar in this community. She ran free classes for the local kids so she could keep them off the streets. I'll look into it. Yeah, looks like someone closed the place up. There's a CTOS camera nearby. Maybe it picked up something. Understood. Angel, I got stills from the CTOS camera. Looks like Sonia met with Clan Kelly before she went AWOL. Sending to you now. Clan Kelly? Oh shit. I recognize this asshole. They hit up a Kelly clubhouse that runs underground fights. So it wasn't a random visit. Clan Kelly targeted her for her boxing history. But for what? I'm sending you the address now. Hurry. your plan to get in. Are you gonna start shooting? Yeah, that sounds judgmental coming from you. Sonia's probably in there, and I don't want her to wind up as collateral damage. And I want to know what's going on. You won't get information by killing everyone inside. Yeah, I heard you. I think I've got an idea for how to blend in. Thanks, love. 
Hey, sorry, you do know this isn't like a normal club, right? What? There's no DJ type shit here. You can't like grab a drink and dance your bad day away. We're throwing down here, doing some bare knuckle boxing. No shit. All right, all right, look, no need to get snippy. I just want to make sure you're looking for a fist in the face and not the, you know. You just gonna stand there all day? Your idea was to enter the tournament? No better way to check out the action than be right in it. That is in her. Almost not being teeth right now! Fucking hell! Seriously! No one will be able to get out of that! Are you chicken? Not her either. How many people are you gonna have to go through? Come on and try, asshole. That's the shit we like to see. Am I right, people? Or what? And then down. Did you see all that on the live stream? No thanks to you. Are you Sonia Mayfield? Angel sent me to find you. Really? Did he tell you to completely fuck me over too? What are you talking about? The match. The only reason I signed up for this tourney was because the prize money would have kept my gym doors open. Now I'm gonna lose it. The bank will take everything. This was about the prize money. Take it then. Angel thought something bad had happened to you. Turns out you were just fighting for Clan Kelly. It's not that simple. They wanted a champion for their league. So while they may not have literally put a gun to my head, they made saying yes my only real option. And I am the lucky one. They've dragged other people here to fight and cage them up after. Folks that owe them are across them. Clan Kelly are holding people hostage and forcing them to fight. I can't let that go on. Okay. I hope you make them pay. And... thanks. That gym means everything to me. You can't leave these people here, Pierce. People shouldn't be chained up to fight like dogs. Shit, dogs shouldn't be chained up either. Don't worry, I wasn't planning on it.
found the other boxers. Clan Kelly's literally holding them in cages. Get them out of there, Pierce.
That look expensive. What's going on? Just the man I wanted to see. I've got a little mystery on my hands. And you want me to solve it? You catch on quick, Fox. You're not the only one asking me for favors lately. What's the situation? I keep hearing the same story from the regulars on the soup line. They get sacked. Their employer pulls their housing stipend. And then some tough guys come and force them onto the streets. People get fired, people get evicted. Is that a news story in England? It is when the flats are still empty weeks later. You don't get that many vacancies in London these days. Not unless it's on purpose. Something's up. All right. I'll see what I can find. This is a ghost town. See some gangsters hanging around and... That's pretty much it. Uh, the movers. They must have set up camp. Makes sense. They can harass the locals and scare off any new tenants while they're at it. These company units are all hooked up with CCTV. You can hack in from the CTOS hub. Yeah, I've done this before. Found the security cam access. Good. You're looking for flat 208. Huh. Looks like the movers left some of their gear. Please, I can get the money. Too fucking late, in it? Time's up, you're out. Routing you the data now. No, please, you can't. All right, lads. Let's wrap it up before the poor bastard wakes up. This is good, Fox. Get out of there. I'll see what's what. Anything? These movers have been busy. Almost 200 evictions carry out here in the Shatens Plaza. Any evidence that ties them to your friend's former employer? Strangely, no. If anything, the Kellys seem to be the ones calling the shots here. I don't get it. All this... Over some shoebox rentals? What's the angle? I'm not sure. But there is one name that keeps coming up in these files. Someone I think you might know. Who? Thomas Rempart. Rempart. Figures. 
I'm heading to the plaza now. I'll let you know when I get there. said this was housing? That's right. Converted warehouses. Well, now they've been converted to a hole in the ground. What the hell? Stop snooping! Death, did you hear that? Data coming your way. Looks like financial records. our scam. The Kellys clear out the land and Rampart buys it up on the cheap. He's going to turn this place into a factory for his robot playthings. And hundreds of people end up homeless. I say we sink his investment. I like your thinking. Look around for any of Rampart's assets and trash them. Ah! 
I'll shoot you, I will. Servers. Nice. Keep going. Game in a slip. Another one. Good. That should set his plans back a bit. Now get out of there. Well, I did a bit of damage, but I doubt it's enough to stop the evictions. With the kind of money we're talking about? No, I don't think so. But now that we know the scam, we can start fighting back against it. Send out some tough guys of your own? Is that it? Mutual aid peers. I'm talking community funds for people who can't make rent. Hooking people up with employment lawyers. That kind of thing. And yeah, a few tough guys on Neighborhood Watch couldn't hurt. Sounds like you got a long fight ahead of you. Good luck. The work never ends, Mr. Fox. Hey, Aiden. I have a question. Go ahead. That weekend you took us all out to the country. When I was a kid. And on the way we got run off the road. I don't want to talk about this. About what? About the crash or about my sister? Look. Did you know those guys were after you? And that's why you took us? I'm not angry. I just want to know. You never said. Yeah. It was a mistake. I ran when I should have fought. I didn't commit to what I had to do. The man I had to be. I never made that mistake again. What about the mistake that got us there in the first place? Robbing whoever it was you robbed? I don't know, Jackson. Same answer. You ever wish you'd committed to being that other guy? All the time. Really? How? I 
figured Wrench wouldn't be the type to steer clear of the authorities for very long, so I went poking around in Albion's body cam archives. And look what I found. Look behind him. That's Brixton. And I don't see that drone he rides around on anywhere, which probably means he's close to home. Good eye. But not enough to go on yet. Even if you're right, he's too careful. And if we spend too long looking around, he'll notice and run. We have to narrow it down. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, I've got just the thing for that. I'm dropping you a pin. Start moving. Where am I going? Here. Watch this. Reports are coming in that a masked terrorist has set off a blast at a Rempart Automated Defense Systems facility here in the capital. Terrorism experts have identified the man pictured here as an American DedSec operative known as The Wrench. London's own DedSec cell was dismantled following their cowardly attack on the city less than a month ago. So now we must ask, has The Wrench come to London to finish what they started? might have left something behind at the Rempart facility. Exactly. See what you can turn up. Hey, Jackson. If you had any more questions about anything that happened before, if that would help you, you can ask them. I do. Too many for right now, though. But would that help you? I think it might help both of us. Okay, well, let's try one out. Oh, God. Well, I've had a hard time remembering what things were like before it happened. Can't even remember what I was like. I was pretty young, but... Well, Mom always used to call me Aiden by accident. I guess we were a lot alike as kids. So maybe you were a bit like me when you were my age, too. Hmm. Guess I wasn't so bad then. Don't give yourself too much credit. I'm still better looking. All right, looks like I beat the rubberneckers at least. Probably not for long. You'll want to be in and out. What the hell happened here? It looks like he modified the robot's friend or foe identification. They just shot anything that moved. Reckless. Look at this place. Civilians could have been hurt. Yeah. The sooner we find this guy, the better. I'll hack into their BIOS, dig through their data, and see if we can't find where they dump their camera logs. Copy that.
Nothing on this one. Scrubbing the footage. Ugh. Sorry. Nothing. Marking the camera log server. Let's have a look in there and see if any of these little guys caught a glimpse of the wrench. in there. Let's see what we can find. Shit. Looks like he wiped their cameras. It gets worse. You just tripped a script payload that locked you in there. What the hell? Hello, Thomas. Looking for this? Is he gonna do it? Is it gonna? Is it gonna do it? <laughs> Sucks, right? Look, man, I know all about your little scam involving the Mark IIs. All I gotta do is smash this thing, and you lose your company, and go to jail. <laughs> Would you though? I mean, sure, you'd probably get arrested, maybe even convicted. You'd lose some money, but you'd still be rich. So you'd do what? Four months? No. No, no, no. I didn't go through all this just to set you back. I want to fuck you the way you fucked me. With a damn piece of condom on my fist. <laughs> So that's why I'm going to crush your whole business model instead. I'm going to reverse engineer this thing. And then I'm going to put your thought controlled killbot design on the internet for free. That way, anyone who wants one can steal it. <laughs> Happy day. Yatta. <laughs> Looks like Wrench left this as a trap for Rempart, and I stumbled into it. I can't do anything from here. Give me a minute. I'll come help. No, don't. I can handle it. Just give me a minute. Get going.
I'm out. That guy in the video was like an internet troll crawled out of the internet. That's who we're chasing? He's a bit more dangerous than that. Do you see any clues to his location on that video? I'm scrubbing it now. No windows, no take out containers. Hang on. Yes! Is that? Yes! I got him! Really? How? You can start heading to Brixton if you want to get moving. I'll explain on the way. can watch the video. Right in the corner of his workbench, you can see an Arduino board connected to one of his gadgets. Arduino? So he's controlling his gadgets with radio waves, probably through an optic. How does that help? It doesn't, unless you can get into high-frequency radio range. Then all you have to do is ping every nearby object. Whenever you have a high concentration of objects with a low latency ping back, you've got a big collection of Arduino boards. And a whole arsenal of gadgets. And since we already know he's in Brixton... All you have to do is go there, and I can use the Arduino ping back to find his hideout. Great work, Jackson. So I've been thinking. When this is done, you and me should probably sit down and really talk about things. Sure. I'd like that. But I do have a question now. If that's all right. About Lena? No, it's that... Well, you don't look good, Aiden. I'm worried about you. When are you going to stop all this? <laughs> Thanks. I keep trying to retire. Never takes. There's a lot of ways to help people. I've helped a lot of people, and I've never shot anyone. Can we talk about this later? Yeah, yeah. Just think a little bit about an exit strategy, okay? Because right now, every end of this thing I can see looks pretty bleak. Okay, but... now. All those gadgets are routed through the local CTOS hub. Find the hub, and I can pinpoint the exact location. You got it. Mm. This whole area is wide open. That'll be a problem if he gets on that drone of his. Already on that. All the drones in London are on a CTOS air traffic control system. I just need to hack a local relay and reboot it. Should ground everything for a few minutes. It's not worth exposing yourself for. Rempart's still looking for you. Keep your head down. I'll be fine. Also, I left 20 minutes ago. So it's a mood point. Jackson, how's that drone controller coming? Jackson, come back. Where are you? 
That's it. I'm aborting. Coming to you. No, no, no. Bad idea, bud. What the hell are you doing on this channel? I told you. When I found Jackson, I wanted you to see it, so you would believe me. Say hello to Uncle Aiden. I'm sorry. I fucked up. No. Oh, poor little cabbage. He'll be staying with me until you bring me the broken bridge. This makes your bargaining position clear, right? I've already found Wrench. I'll have it in 30 minutes. Good. Kill him, and I'll pay you a million dollars on top of giving Jackson back. I'm serious. whatever we are. Just thought I'd let you know that that's not my real safe house you're outside of right now. It's, uh, nope, it's, it's, uh, decoy. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, decoy. It's over, Wrench. Tell me where you are. Ah, uh, no can do. Oh, and if any security drones show up, just know they'll leave you alone as soon as you go away. So, please go away. Not going to happen. Alright, so 
Yeah, that, that is my real safe house. You got me. <laughs> but of course, I had an emergency exit. I mean, could you imagine if I didn't have another way out of here? <laughs> How dumb would I have to be? I mean, pretty dumb. Side here. Broke a bridge. Now. There. Really? Asshole. Okay, hang on. Hang on! Just. No mask, no wrench, just Reggie. Look, you can't give that thing to Rampart. Whatever deal you have with him, he's gonna try to fuck you over. <laughs> Believe me, I would know. He's not stupid, he knows who I am. Well, he knew who I was too, that's why he was interested in my company. He said he read about my rumored dead set connections in a Wired article. You designed the robots. Yeah. I know robots, but he knew business. And he had this whole speech about space flight and human evolution and... And... I completely fucking fell for it. Yeah, I heard part of the story. So what? Now you want revenge? No. Well, yes. But mostly I'm just tired of fucking criminals and con men running the world. I don't know what I want exactly. I just know he can't win. Sorry, Reggie, I have no choice. <clears throat> For what it's worth, I spent my life fighting people like Rimpart. Doesn't work. So what? We're all supposed to just give up? No, you shouldn't. Some fights are worth losing. Rampart, it's me. I've got your broker bridge. Put Jackson on. Cool. He's right here. Aiden? I'm fine. Don't let this asshole tell you what to do. That's enough for now. You are so close to being through this, Aiden. Don't fuck it up. All right, Thomas. I'm on my way. You're being very trusting. For all you know, I could be planning to kill you and your nephew. You said your people looked into me. What did they find? That there are a lot of stories about the fearsome Aiden Pierce. Most people say that all the violence in Chicago was just a regular gang war. It got blamed on some boogeyman called the Fox. But having met you, I believe the myth. After Chicago, they say you went global for a few years. I found a few links between you and the murder of some warlords, blood diamond traders, dictators, a dozen more rumors of the same. And that brings us more or less to the present day. But what does any of this have to do with you walking in here and simply trusting me to honor our deal? Look at it this way. If even half of what you said is true, 
Is crossing me really worth the risk? You know what? I agree. There's no angle in it. Bring me the broker bridge, and this is all over. Calm down, please. Here, finally. I've ordered everyone to stand by. Your nephew and I will be waiting for you in my office. Hand the broker bridge over and leave the premises. Once I verify it hasn't been damaged, I'll release your nephew. Not gonna happen. I'm leaving with Jackson. Stupid. I guess this means we're at an impasse, Aiden. Not for long. Do not resist! Uh, uh, I'm coming in now. Jackson better be there. And he better be unharmed. Mr. Pierce, do you have it? We're going. No, no, no. Not before I confirm it works. It's okay, okay get up. Hello, Thomas. What? I've already said everything I need to say to you, so this is actually a message for Aiden. So there, buddy? What the hell is this? Hold on. Sorry, it's a quick one. Stop! <laughs> Go! Stop them! Go! Shit. Try the door. The building's locked, Aiden. Give up, and I'll kill you fast. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is a full Dun -dun -dun -dun. lockdown. Shoot, the Shoot on sight for all unknown personnel is authorized. Fuckers aren't right. getting out of here. You're already dead. Ah! I need her to go. All facility guests, please proceed to the nearest exit with your visitors' passes on display. If you kill Aiden Pierce, I will double your salary. No, triple. Low, Jackson. Stay low. Keep your target small. Let's make things interesting. Let's get to work. You said you protest, right? They ever shoot at you? Yeah. Rubber bullets and tear gas and shit. This is different. You ever get hit? No. Then it's not different. If you can avoid a rubber bullet, you can avoid a real one. <laughs> okay, I'll try that. This used to be so much easier. You've done this before? Not exactly this, but... Close enough. What the fuck is that? What happened to the lights? Well, fix it, you fucking moron! aren't getting out of here! Ultrasonic blast. 
personnel to security stations. site for all unknown personnel is authorized. figure it out. And this way, everyone wins. Well, I mean, except for Rampart. He's dead. Not quite. You only winged him. Okay, okay, so not a total win, but still like an 8 out of 10. Rampart's all fucked up, and he's still gonna lose a bunch of money and go to jail. You almost killed Jackson. Oh, fine. 7 out of 10. Can we discuss this on the way home, please? What are you talking about? What? You think I just leave you in the lurch? I'm down in the motor pool. Already got us some wheels. Just use the central elevator. Pretty sure the button says MP. All right. We'll be right there. This is a full lockdown alert. There are intruders in the building. Thomas, Shoot on sight for all I just got out of the board meeting. We vote tomorrow. But you should know that the Borkatech CEO, this Sky Larson, She's persuasive. You're going to accept her terms. You're going to fire me and replace me with her. How could you do this? You could stop this if you wanted to. I don't want to. It was your incompetent leadership that brought us to this point. I'm your son. I'm also the chairman of the company, and the board is obligated to act in the investor's best interests. Look, I can get the technology we need from her another way. 
I need six months. I've already given you twice that. Six months, and the company will be back in the black. Or I will step down voluntarily. Only I can't tell you how. The board needs to be insulated. Six months. I can hold them off for six months. But after that... I understand. Thank you, Father. Good. Now, will you be joining me for your stepmother's birthday on the weekend? We are going skiing. No, I can't. I have to work. All facility guests, please proceed. Yeah, just barely. Do you have like a like a needle or something? Uh, uh, yeah. How's this? What are you doing? If he was just unconscious, he would still react to pain and sound. But he's not. What do you mean? He's like in a coma or something? Oh shit! How do you fix a coma? They're taking him to a hospital. Where we'd be rampart bait? Not an option. I know. Fuck! Okay. First thing, we need to stabilize him. He's lost a lot of blood. So I'm gonna need some bandages, iodine, and IV drip. Whoa, 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 slow your roll there, Florence Nightingale. I'm gonna go get geared up, then you can give me your shopping list. And where are you planning on getting that stuff? I don't know, maybe I'll hijack an ambulance or something. Look, you stay here, you look after Aiden, okay? And don't worry, Uncle Wright has got this under control. this. Care to dance? Lady Smash? All right, Ranch Jr., Daddy's got to go to work. You be good. Mwah. Message saved for 412 days. Oh shit, big boss Reggie coming through. Straight up though, man, congrats. This launch party for your startup is going to be lit. I better be reading about you taking over the world in a magazine or some shit. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Tonight better be open bar. <laughs> hey. 
Hello? Aiden, what? Wait, who the fuck are you? Where's Aiden? Oh, uh, wrong number. Wrench, were you serious about hiding? Hijacking an ambulance for supplies? Is this one of those questions with a right and wrong answer? I have a friend who can help us. She knows the city really well. Go talk to Connie first. I'll send you the address to her pub. Don't worry, man. I got this. I scoped out a hospital nearby already. Go meet Connie. The last thing we need is drawing more attention to ourselves and getting the cops or Albion involved. All right, all right, ye of little faith. You know, there is a world of difference between you and me. I was born to rule people like you. And you think you could ruin my face? <laughs> so you want chaos, huh? Great. Because of you, I realized I wasn't thinking big picture enough. You know, keep the broker bridge. Go fuck yourself with it. Because someone like me can do better than a cheap trinket. Someone like me gets to eat up little shits like you! Ha! You said eat shit. But I'll get back to you, Tommy. Gotta get... That stuff for Aiden first. Focus, wrench. Ah, love the whole quaint little pub thing you've got going on here. Creepy mask, spikes everywhere. Yeah, Jackson told me you'd be coming. Hi. So, word is you know a good place to get medical supplies on the down low. Clan Kelly's got loads of stuff that are moving through the underworld. How do you feel about robbing from the robbers? Sounds like a sexy good time. Where can I find these black market stashes? I'll send a couple of locations to your optic. You're doing this to help Aiden, yeah? Make sure that stubborn fool stays breathing. Hey, listen. I propose giving it mouth to mouth, but, you know, with the mask and the spikes, it's kind of chafy, so. Get moving! You can't go anywhere but running into the village. I refuse to put up with this. Let's see how tough these Clan Kelly fucksticks want to play. The point here is to get the monitor, not get into a fight. And if one of them gets up in my face, you want me to go, Oh, please, big bad gangster, may I have a vital science monitor? You gotta get your hands... Dirty sometimes, kid. Uncle Aiden's a prime example of that. Uncle Aiden also routinely gets shut up and just recently almost died and is now in a coma. And your point is?
hear something. Shut it down. Set off that alarm. I will find them. It is a crime to harm her or otherwise. Whoa! I don't see shit. There's nothing in. Alarm's gonna drive me crazy. What's going on? Yeah, come on. Go get that noise on you. Get over here. I got. You got shit for brains. Disobeying a direct order from Alvin Percy. That's a hit. Hey, crawl up on that wait Get over here and help, man. Find it, cover. Shit, shit. Doesn't have to be like this. Wow. Got the vital signs monitor. And with minimal chaos, just like you asked. Are you proud of me? Uh, if you say so. I knew I'd win you over. No one can stay mad at this handsome mug.
Okay, I'm here. Dun, dun, dun! The vigilante known as the Fox surveyed the clearing through steely eyes, looking at all the bad guys he was gonna kapow! Are you trying to roleplay as Aiden? Dude. Just trying to think, what would Aiden do? I mean, he could steamroll through this whole gang, no sweat. Yeah, yeah because that's so cool. Is sarcasm any way to speak about your elders? You and everyone put Aiden on a pedestal. He's either the coolest vigilante or he's the worst villain. It's weird. Because he's also my uncle that, frankly, kept putting me in danger and then just stopped showing up. Oh, okay. to search through it quickly. Clan Kelly doesn't leave product unsupervised for long. Ooh, I've got a better idea. Instead of picking... ...and choosing some drugs, I'll just take all the drugs. How? Oh. And please don't say up your nose. That sounds fun, but I'm working, young man. I'm gonna call my buzzy little droid friend and fly the whole thing out of here. I'm sending you the coordinates to a drop-off point, so you can get the supplies to me. Looking for at least a 20% tip. Well done. I'll make sure Jackson gets what he needs. As for the rest, well, the resistance will find a use for it. Cheers, Wrench. Jackson, your shopping list is on its way. That'll help me keep Aiden breathing. But I don't know what to do about the coma. What if I swing by that big hospital? I can dig through their database and see if they have any information on treating coma patients. That's actually a really good idea. Gotta keep it quiet, though. We were avoiding the hospital because of Rampart. 
Don't worry, your Uncle Wrench can be so, so sneaky. London's running on a fancy upgrade. Are you gonna have a problem accessing the hospital's database? <laughs> please. CTOS may have gotten a facelift, but that does not mean she's better than me. Shit, shit, shit. Long-term patient ward. Shit, are all the doctors on break? Physician, wouldst thou neglect the poor souls in thy care? Come on, Doc! People are slowly dying over here! <laughs> yes, imbue me with all of your knowledge.
Okay, I'm done. I'm heading back now, and I'm sending you the coma protocols. Leave it to your Uncle Wrench. Thanks. And you keep trying, but I am not calling you Uncle Wrench. Oh, come on! Surrender yourself. So, what's the verdict? Did that doctor's info help? There's nothing on how to actually revive someone from a coma. So I'm just stuck waiting for when, or if he wakes up. Don't worry, he's Aiden fucking Pierce. He'll wake up again. That's easy for you to say. But what if he doesn't? What the hell do we do then? Look, you can stay here for as long as you need. I'm gonna go blow up the other half of Rembart's face. Are you kidding? Aiden's in a coma right now, and you're thinking about revenge. Uh, yeah. Or do you not remember the crazy robot man who wants us all dead? And do you not remember that you're the reason why Rampart went after Aiden in the first place? And why Aiden is in a coma right now? Wow. Hurtful. I need to keep looking for ways to help him. With you or not. All right. All right. Fine. Ah, shit. Satan's phone again. All right, asshole. I've tracked your location. This is your final warning. Blah, blah, blah. Bottom line. Let Aiden Pierce go, or I'm gonna send a bunch of people your way to cut you into tiny little pieces and deliver them to me gift-wrapped. Capiche? Jesus, dude! Listen, I'm, I'm not holding Aiden hostage. I'm helping. Jackson, back me up. What the fuck? You're with Jackson. I thought you were one of Rempart's hired mooks. Hold on, hold on. You got a private channel or something, I gotta get off this burner. One sec. All right, I'm back. And I've got some burning questions. So one, who the fuck are you? And two, what happened to Aiden? Well, I'm Wrench, and Aiden is... In a coma. A fucking coma? How the hell did that happen? I kind of, uh, half blew him up. Shit. Now I've got a problem here, Ratchet. It's Wrench. I have a fixer contract that needs doing, but my best guy is out. 
indefinitely. I thought Rempar was responsible, but now I'm finding out it's you. Partially responsible? Please don't chop me into little pieces. Okay, Ratchet. I need you to wipe some data from Rempar facilities. Can you handle that? Got it. Go to Nexus Tower and steal their prototype combat drone. Not what I said, but, uh, sure. Let's see where this goes. Once I get my drone, what exactly am I wiping from Rembart's facilities again? Every trace of the Broker Tech deal. Scorched Earth were the exact words the clan used. Scorched Earth? <laughs> I love Scorched Earth! Why didn't you lead with that? I don't think they meant it literally, but eh, that was their mistake. Go nuts. You hot piece of drum. <laughs> you, uh, want to get out of here? I know a nice little spot where we can park and, uh, you know, talk and stuff. <laughs> Don't tell your dad. Huh. Weird, man. Uh, but who am I to judge? Let's do this. Keeping you safe. All right, let's scorch some earth. Where am I going, Jordy? Marking it for you now. So, this client wants to wipe out every trace of Broca Tech from Rampart's facilities, right? Uh-huh, that's right. Which means they know about Aiden's contract, which means they're probably the same client who hired him, right? Oh, so there's a brain behind the paintball mask. Ah, interesting. Is it Sky Larson? She runs Broca Tech, so that much makes sense. Look. The Fixers wouldn't be a very discreet criminal organization if we went around blabbing who hired us to do their illegal shit. I can't tell you. So you do know? Yeah, but same answer. It's called professionalism, Ratchet. All right, that's the first location there. I'll tag everything you need to take out. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot this was on. It's all good. Vent away. 
marking the next thing. All right, that's the second location there. Tagging all the targets. Light them up. With pleasure. So, if the client's not Sky Larson, is it Albion? Like, maybe they're trying to clear Rampart out of London so they can take over all this shit? Uh, getting colder. But you know, that's actually a good idea. I should have tried to work that angle as a side thing. Eh, <sighs> eh, next time. than I thought they would. Like, they're refusing to pay, threatening to expose us. And obviously, we can't have that. Is this a problem we can fix by blowing up more stuff? Actually, I need you to clone a copy of the Rempart HQ server onto that drone for me to use as leverage. But I'd be surprised if you didn't blow up a few things in the process. Okay, I'd say that's in my wheelhouse. All right, I'm cloning the server now. You know, the client sure found out about our little rampage pretty quickly. They did, didn't they? And if you were still interested in who they are, that's what I would call a clue. You didn't answer when I guessed the client was Rampart. Hotter or colder? Hotter, actually. Way hotter. Really? How does that work? Tell you what. Finish that download. These guys are still being a pain in my ass. I might find myself in a forthcoming mood. One sec, they're calling me again. There. 
That should remind these idiots not to fuck with the contract after the fact. You still want to know who they are? Well, I feel like that's fair game at this point. Now you're just gonna tell me? Just like that? Call it an investment in our ongoing business relationship. The client is Rempart's board of directors, specifically the chairman, Louis Edmund Rempart, Thomas Rempart's father. Come on, really? Why would he screw over his own son like that? Because none of what Tommy is up to in London is sanctioned. The board hired Aiden to find out what he was doing, and now they wish they hadn't. His shenanigans have put the whole conglomerate in jeopardy, so now they just want to wipe the slate and ever so quietly move Tommy Boy to the Baggett Division or wherever. Somewhere he can't do any damage. So if Rampart doesn't get the broker bridge and pull off his plan, his dad's gonna hang the clusterfuck on his son to protect the company. <sighs> Is this joy I'm feeling? See, you can make money and make the world a better place. Hit me up if you want to run any more fixer gigs. Take it easy, Wrench. Founder of Brokertech. I have a proposal for you. We should speak in person. No, you send an offer to my people, and maybe I'll consider. I'm the only chance you have of saving Aiden Pierce. I'll send the coordinates to your optic. Hey, Jackson. What do you know about Sky Larson? I literally have her books on my shelf. I have a subscription to her Masterclass webinar series, and I won her Larson Family Scholarship. She's brilliant. Okay, didn't expect to unpack a big crush there. Super sweet. But I think there's something sketchy about this. If she can help Aiden, we don't have a choice. Hey, normally I'd be down for an icy British woman telling me what to do. But this time I'm a little nervous. If I was a multimillionaire, I'd have a nice crib too. Huh. Wait, is she a billionaire? Oh, so.
Greetings, Reginald Blackman. Ah, Jesus! Sky Larson is in the sitting room. Your fucking house knows my name? Whoa! Cool hologram! <gasps> is this about the Death Star plans? I need you to pay attention, Mr. Blackman. It's wrench? I know you have the broker bridge. Uh, moi? <laughs> You know, you're right, I am holding on to it. But just for safekeeping, Scout's honor. Hmm. Because of your recent spat, Thomas Rempart has decided that if he can't have the broker bridge, he'll go right to the direct source. He's taken my deep labs hostage. I need you to clear out his forces and give me control of my labs back. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into how creepy it is that you know all this shit, but you said you could help Aiden? If you secure my labs, I'll help you revive Aiden Pierce from his coma. How? Do you know what the Deep Labs were built for? Why they're kept a secret? Bring the Broker Bridge to the labs, and I'll show you what it can really do. One, don't be mad that the love of your life was flirting with me. And two, you get the feeling we're jumping into a shitstorm here? Yeah, but this is what we gotta do to help Aiden. Why are you still risking your neck to help him, even though he's done bad by you? Because everybody deserves a chance to set things right, even after they fuck up. Like, I'm sure no matter how mad he is at you, your buddy in San Francisco wants you to call him back. Whoa, what? Did, hey, did you read my diary? No. Dude, you play those voicemails from Marcus all the time, on speaker. Just call him back. Trust me. Oh, okay. Shut up. Sky said we needed to bring the broker bridge. She must not know you blew it up. What do we do? <laughs> yeah, about that. Get ready for me to blow your mind. Bridge? The other one was a fake? Fake broker bridge, real bomb. I stashed this one where no one could ever find it. In the postal service. Been in limbo circuiting the city this whole time. Nice. All right, let's get it to broker tech. gone through a rebranding. Rampart's got his goons all over the place. You'll have to get through them to find a way inside. Don't worry. I'm wearing my ass-kicking pants today. Oh, uh, they probably hurt the resale value. Let's go! Bitches. Easy peasy. 
to the deep labs have been disabled. Ramparts locked the whole level down. Don't worry, I know another way in. And it's a job for Lady Smash. here too. So you know that calls for a little ambiance. Won't that give away that you're here? Hey, that just makes it more fun. Let's party! <laughs> New orders. New work orders for all of you. I want to see what the best of Tech is capable of. You all would have belonged to me in the merger if Sky Larson didn't fuck me over. So consider this a delayed acquisition. You see my team members posted around your workstations, don't you? You think those weapons are for decorations? What you're submitting to me is unacceptable. You dare show your that? face here. Trying to take Sky's labs? Tisk tisk, Thomas. You know, you've got a real problem with stealing other people's shit and passing it off as your own. You should have been flattered that your work was worth stealing. But just like your ex, I moved on. It's better. And just like his car, I'm gonna fuck up your shit with a sledgehammer. Adventure here's done for, Tommy. Your company's toast, and you've got nothing. I made sure of it. Oh, I got exactly what I came here for. And your reckoning is coming. But for now, I can be patient. Next time I see you, I'm gonna peel the skin off your face. Slowly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and all other fine folk, with that, Monsieur Rempart has left the building. Excellent. Aiden Pierce is being transported here as we speak. You will need to reactivate the command system so I have access. There. You should be back in. Then we can begin. Gentlemen, shall we begin? You have the broker bridge. The system requires two users. The pilot who uses the broker bridge and the subject who is connected to the reader. This will allow you to interface with Aiden's mind. It will scan his brain and create a visual projection that you can engage with. And that's how I'll be able to revive him? Well, the hope is that you'll be able to communicate with him and perhaps identify or repair any damage. How long does this usually take? I'm eager to find out. What? 
with... Wait, what? You, you mean you've never done this before? This is the first human trial. The most exciting phase of the project. God damn it, you fucking lied to us! You never cared about taking Rampart out of your labs. You just want us here to be your fucking guinea pigs. Semantics. Jackson, this is insane. Hey, there is no guarantee this is gonna wake up Aiden. I, I, I say we, we grab him, we, we get the fuck out of here, and we'll find a better way. There isn't a better way. I have to do it. You could wind up in a coma too, or worse. Everyone deserves a chance. Oh my god, that sounds so incredibly profound. What the fuck does that even mean? It means I'm going in. For Aiden. inside Aiden's mind? This looks just like my old house. Actually, I think it is my old house. Where I grew up. Maybe I can get in through the backyard. Huh. Can't go in this way. Hello? Is anybody home? Aiden, hey! Honestly, I didn't think it would be this easy to find you. Let's get out of here. Get out of here? Yeah. Exit the simulation or whatever this technically is. Is that door the way out? I can't say anything else like it, so I think it's our best bet. I'm working. On what? I need to bury something. I lost a couple things in the house. My hat and my coat. I won't be ready without them. Ready for what? Can you get that for me? Aiden. You're hurt, and I'm trying to help you wake up. You want to be helpful? Go get my phone. At least this door's unlocked. It's way too clean in here. That kitchen was always a mess. We spent all our time in there. And I definitely put a crack in that cupboard door with a baseball. <laughs> Lena always made my head look twice the size of my body. That picture... Is that me? Wow, I haven't thought of this place in a long time. Mom sold it years ago. But Aiden's captured it like a time capsule. I spend so much time here rewriting words just trying to learn how to spell. Not that it helped. Someone's got to be in here. Gotcha. All right. Who's been calling Aiden? Nikki. Mom. Jesus, Aiden, you were supposed to be here hours ago. 
I can't keep making excuses for you, and honestly, Jax is smart enough not to buy any of them. If you were going to disappoint him, couldn't you have just said you were coming from the start, instead of getting his hopes up? Whatever. Just... I took him home. We left. Here's your phone. Who was calling? Uh, Mom, actually. She didn't sound happy. Yeah, I don't blame her. Are you ready to leave with me now? I still need my hat and my coat. Aiden, I don't know how else to say this, but you got hurt, and you're in a coma right now. You need to wake up. I left them somewhere in this house. Can't remember why. You have to look around. Why won't you come with me? I told you, I've got to bury something. I'm not going anywhere until that's done. If I get you those things, will you leave with me? Yeah, sure. If you say so. Wait, what the hell? Is this still the house? My sister died when I was little. Is this some kind of sick joke? Jax, come on, you're it. Count to ten and come find me. Is Aiden's mind doing this? He can't let this go, so she just... haunts him?
You can do that. This isn't funny. I don't... I don't like this. Jax, please. I found a good place to hide. Can we please stop? I don't want to play this game. Mom? Arden, are you okay? This was the worst day of my life. And it seemed to last for a year. I know. It, um... It took me a long time to get over it, too. I'm not over it. And I don't want to be. She was my baby girl. You don't get over losing a piece of yourself like that. No. But... Maybe we can find a better way to remember her. This was all Aiden's fault. They were trying to kill him, but he wasn't the one who paid the ultimate price. I know you don't think that way anymore. We found a way to heal. But I guess Aiden hasn't. Aiden's cap. your cap and you're leaving with me right now still need my coat fuck your coat fuck this this literal mind game you know what i saw in there right is lena just in there all the time we need to get the fuck out of here so let's go i told you i need to finish this first and what is this exactly a grave your grave? You know, Mom and I had to find a way to live with what happened. But you've just been torturing yourself with it this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. Jax. You have helped me so much more than you know. This is the way I'm leaving. 
I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. I know you won't let me down. Where is this going to lead now? It looks like I'm going back to the house, but... Jesus, why is there all this blood? Whose blood is this? I need to find another way around. I need to get up there. Enough! 
I need something from you, and it's not this guy dead. I need your coat. Help me? I'm back. This better work. I have your coat. Thanks. I didn't want to be buried in my skivvies, you know? Dressed for the occasion, as it were. So that's it? You're just giving up? I was Aiden Pierce. The Fox. For a long time. I had blood on my hands. Souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all to rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But Mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the Fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle, too. Aiden. Jackson. Where am I? Holy shit! You did it! <laughs> Very impressive. Some of the readings on the broker bridge were wholly unexpected. I don't know whether to punch you or kiss you on your stupid hologram mouth. Both? Jesus. How did I miss? Jackson, your participation here today has awarded you an extension on the Larson Family Scholarship for another two years. Well done. But, as our business is concluded here today, gentlemen, I suggest you wrap things up and take your leave. Both. Definitely both. Thanks. For you know, I know. Beautiful reunion. Gosh, I'm tearing up over here. You can't tell though because of the mask. I feel like that angel from that movie. Now that I've brought Mr. Pierce and Mr. Pierce back together, I can go get my wings. Thanks for all your help, Wrench. No need to thank me. Just promise me your firstborn. And now, I'm off. Wait, where are you going? I'm glad you got Aiden back. Now I've got my own thing to settle. Going after Rempart? Listen, man. I just went into the mind of a guy who had trouble letting shit go. It wasn't fun. Maybe you should just walk away from this. I really can't. Okay. Well, then we'll help you. Whatever you need to do, let's do it together. We've got you. Okay. All right. Let's do this. French, we're set up back at your hideout. So. 
Where do you think Rampart might be? Rampart's burned all his bridges with his business. His partner's in London, so I think he'll try to start fresh somewhere else. Does he have a private jet? I can't picture him strolling through Heathrow. Rampart's got a private barge docked at the Thames. On the books, he moves company cargo. Off the books, he smuggles in people, contraband, you name it. Jordy used him once or twice. Um, is your friend Jordy a sociopath? Yeah, probably. He's so scary, but also sexy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that barge is Rampart's best bet to get out of the city discreetly. I need to catch up with him. Rampart's barge just got clearance to exit the Thames. He's hit open waters. Fuck! How am I gonna catch up to him now? Swim? I think I know someone who can help you out. There was a boat captain that helped me smuggle into the city. I'll let him know you're coming. Oh, phew. I mean, hey, I look great in a Speedo, but I can't actually swim that fast. My legs are too skinny. Just tell me. What are you gonna do to him when you catch up to him? Kill him? Yeah. Duh. Obviously. Is that what you really want, Reggie? Rampart's a scumbag. But you've worked with him. You have a history with him. Even if it's justified, killing him won't settle things the way you want it to. You want to lecture me about that? Really? This is why you're running support, Pierce Senior. No backseat revenging! Look like a seafaring scallywag. Are, are you Aiden's ship captain? Aiden? We? Oui. You say you need a boat? Yes, please. I uh, need a boat to get onto a bigger boat. And you are his uh, family? Uh, well, not ex not exactly. But I do kind of look up to Aiden, like he's my grumpy uncle. So you know, we're still equals. But he's more like my second cousin, brother, uncle, father figure. Ah. Still compliqué. Bon, let's go. I better find a way to disable this barge before Rampart hits international waters. Find the barge controls in the navigation room.
suspect the navigation controls. I'm gonna need to shut down the engine itself, but I don't know how to get to it. You like being hands-on. I bet your drone will come in handy for this. I am so proud of you right now. I'm cheering up. Heads up. You have some bogeys incoming. I knew you would come. I'm glad, actually. I didn't want to leave London before giving you a party again. Oh, well, is that some of the peeling face-off? Keep it. No take backsies. You won't think it's funny when I return the favor. When the tissue necrotizes in your face, it feels like a knife stabbing into you. Hot, cold, hot, cold. But you'll feel it a thousand times worse. Because I don't believe in an eye for an eye. I believe in an eye for the whole fucking face! <gasps> That's not very Christian of you, Tommy.
main power. Override the final engine and ground this boat for good. Aye, aye, Captain! up on a remote signal coming from the barge and massive power spikes coming from the cargo hold he's activated something something big get ready for a fight
Meet the Mark II. Piloted by a human. No broker bridge. Mm. Oh, fuck me. Care for a demonstration? Nothing you've got will get you through those shields. Hang in there. We'll find a way to get them down. Good.
not enough to take me down.
Tommy! There you are! It's no use. I can build another prototype. You have no way of stopping me! Oh, I've got one way. Yeah. Reggie? I was gonna kill you. Fuck! Would have been so much easier to. You know, I didn't start working with you for the money. I mean, sure, I thought you were a spoiled asshole with too much hair wax, by the way. But you had a dream. Remember? You told me you wanted to see humanity reach the stars. <laughs> We're gonna do that together, man. <laughs> I lie to you, you naive fuck. Prick. I'll hunt you down. And all your little friends back in San Francisco. Sitara. Josh. Marcus. I won't lie. I didn't expect you to turn him over to Albie in custody. Well, I asked myself, what would Aiden Pierce do? And then I asked myself, is that who I really wanted to be? And look, no offense, big guy. I think you made the right call. Even if I wanted to smash him into teeny tiny little pieces and scatter them all over the Thames and turn him into seagull shit. Well, progress is a journey. What's next on the docket for you? Heading home? Nah. I think I might hang around London for a bit, wrap up a few things. But I do think I'll give Marcus a call, though. Actually, hey, yeah, I wanna, I wanna take a selfie in front of Big Ben and send it to him. Or maybe I should go to Buckingham Palace and steal a roll of some royal TP. <laughs> get him a souvenir. Great. Looks like whatever trouble you get into, we'll have to fish you out of it. Aw, that's so sweet. What a nice family moment. We really do make the dream team, don't we? Jackson and his two uncles. Two uncles? Shh, shh. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 